sincerely welcome the esteemed chief guest of today's program, founder and chairman, Lal Chand Trellis Group, an alumnus of 1980 batch of Stuart School, Bhavnesha, Mr. Sanjay Hansa. Let us pay respect to the Almighty Lord by lighting the lamp. I request our chief guest, Mr. Sanjay Hansa, founder and chairman, Lalchan Dwellers Group, to do the honors. I would also request the esteemed guests present on the dais to participate in the lighting of the lamp. I especially welcome Mr. Sanjay Hans, the group leader, the captain of Lal Chand Group, and he is also old Stuartonian, 1980 batch. He is here with us. Very shortly, we will hear from him. I do not have that audacity to welcome these old batches here because this school belongs to you. You have come when you were small kid. You made it on your own, you learned, you grew, you fought with your friends, made friends and then you pass out and you still recall and you have come. And uh, I really, really thank you for being present here this evening. And uh, especially to Mr. Hans for, because he is a busy man, he was sharing his schedule with me. At this time he is supposed to be in his office, buying and selling. And you know that he is very reputed all over Orissa for the, uh, his shops, very branded. And uh, he has opened in two in Delhi also. It's good to know that he's thriving. And he started as from the scratch. We were discussing that, that this kind of industry, entrepreneurship from the scratch. I do not know from where he got this inspiration, but if it is the school, we are really thankful. But at the moment, I want to announce a very special announcement that Mr. Hans has donated a very substantial amount to convert a classroom into an audiovisual room in the Stuart School. Thank you very much, Mr. Hans. Thank you for your contribution. I am honored and privileged to introduce to you all the chief guest of today's program, Mr. Sanjay Hans, sir, alumnus 1980 Stuart School, Bhuvneshwar, founder, chairman, Lalchand Group, Jewelers Group. Mr. Sanjay Hans was born on July 22, 1964 to the well-known Hans business family of Uvneshwar. Mr. Hans is the youngest among the five brothers. I am delighted to inform you that Mr. Sanjay Hans sir joined Stuart School of Uvneshwar in the year 1974 and passed ICSE in 1980. Mr. Sanjay Hans sir has been pivotal on making Lan Lal Chant a benchmark brand that it is today. Blissfully married, he is a proud father of a daughter who completed her MBA from a prestigious business school in Spain. Mr. Sanjay Hans sir is the editor-in-chief of India First, the only English language news magazine published from Orissa. Mr. Hans has been writing about acute and relevant socio-political issues in his personal columns which has been widely read and increasingly appreciated over the years. Mr. Sanjay Hans is the chairman of the Lalchan group of companies which includes Lalchan Jewelers, Lalchan Builders, Lalchan Resorts and Lalchan Developers. Mr. Hans also successfully diversified into the hospitality business by taking over India's first three-star hotel, which was inaugurated by late Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi. Mr. Hans redefined hospitality by making the new Marion one of the finest hotels in the state. Mr. Sanjay Hans has initiated several poverty alleviation programs, 
in some of the most backward areas of Orissa during the mid 90s as the vice chairman of Round Table India Bhubaneswar 53 his contribution as a social worker and philanthropist were most widely noticed and loudly lauded when Orissa was hit by super cyclone in the year 1999, cyclone funny and during COVID-19 pandemic. Mr. Sanjay Hansar has been honored with more than 100 awards over the past three decades. Thank you, sir, for being a part of today's program. We are immensely honored to have you as our chief guest today. It's now time to felicitate our chief guest, Mr. Sanjay Hans. I kindly request the esteemed chief guest of today's program, Mr. Sanjay Hans, Founder and Chairman, Lalchan Jewellers Group, an alumnus of 1980 batch of Stuart School Bhuvneshwar to address the audience and share some inspiring words. Sir, please. How to start? I'm confused now. Tensed. Happy Children's Day, everyone. Honorable Secretary of Stuart School, esteemed Principal, Madam, respected teachers, dignitaries present here, Dear friends and all my fellow Stuartarians and all my classmates, all present here, Anup, Shakil, Om Prakash, Victor, Chami, Bhavanath, Susan, Biswal, Tiku. So all of you present here, you are not my only friends, you are my family. And few of them, I am meeting them after 40 years or 43 years. I am very happy all of you are here, thank you so much. What a surreal feeling this is. As I stand here before you, my mind keeps wandering back to the countless memories I have of this place. Some of them so vivid that it feels like they happened yesterday. So much has changed around here, but I am so proud to see that our good old school has made progress in all fronts. So let's give our school a standing ovation first, guys. We are all proud of it. Thank you. After all along with our parents, it's our school that shapes us. Becoming a part of our identity, our being perhaps more than we realize. On my part, when I began putting my thoughts together for this speech, I realized more profoundly that ever that when I, what I learned, whatever experience I had during my school days, always stayed with me and became the foundation of my ambitions, my successes, and how I deal with challenges in my life even today. From the thrashing that I got from my father for bunking school once, to the discipline that our teachers here hammered into us, such patience and persistence, to those early life lessons that I learned from my interactions with my seniors and friends, mostly nice, but sometimes not so nice, all of them have played a critically important role in my life. Victor's laughing. While assisting my elder brothers for a couple of hours at my father's shop, after returning from school every day, I learnt about the dignity of labour. I was taught that no job is small if it is done with sincerity. The great thing is that all of you can be good at almost anything. If you put your mind to it, and are ready to work diligently. While talent is important, it is not compulsory. You don't need talent even nearly as much as you need hard work and preference. But you must be ready to make sacrifices along the way. You need to take all the misses, setbacks and failures with a sense of humour. You have to accept those as God's will and keep working away with sense of purpose and with the belief that nobody can take away from you what you truly deserve. And you must certainly don't need to pay heed to what others think about you and your work. The greater truth sometimes 
something that I realized in time was that everything becomes a lot easier if you are pursuing your true passion. You will automatically get a head start and maintain an edge over others in your field because you will naturally be working harder and smarter than your competition. You can better deal with all setbacks and failures no matter how big they are. You seeing them as stepping stones to success and all the sacrifices you make will not feel so much like sacrifice. That will keep you default make mode a happier one. Let me go back to the moment to the working smarter part. This is there's a best selling book called Who Moved My Cheese? Which changed my thought process and is the reason behind my success. I've got some books. I'll give it to Madam Principal. All the students, those who want can collect a book from Madam. During my three and a half decades of experience in the world of business, I have made many mistakes and I have learned valuable lessons from those. Today I feel duty bound to share those lessons particularly with all of you here so that at least you don't have to learn about all the, all the right things in life and hard way like I had to. First, please do know that parents, all parents here, all parents your, are your best friends. No matter how strongly you may disagree with each other on various matters and decisions in your life. Because no one else will love you so deeply and unconditionally as them. I realized this that all the more strongly after losing my parents. You can never ever get over that loss. It is un unfathomably huge and it is irreplaceable but time will help you to learn and live with it. So even if you have your fair share of arguments with your parents, cherish every moment with them. Do know deep within that you are the same team, you are on the same team and the only want what they truly believe to be in your best interest. Also remember that you have at least two or more decades of life experience than you do. Isn't that true? My young friends who are here, parents are the best, right? Having said that, let me also tell you that please do whatever gives you joy, as long as it's legal, obviously. So you don't have regrets later for not doing so. But, but please try your best not to hurt people through your actions or words. It is simply not worth it. If you accept people with their flaws and weakness and play fair with them regardless of wherever, whether they are on your side or against you, you will feel a kind of peace and power within you that can never be seen or expressed in words but is still as real as it gets. Trust me on this. And if you and if you are in some kind of trouble, never be afraid to face the truth because more often than that problems tend to disappear when you accept the reality and decide to deal with head, heads on. I am sure some of you must have already experienced it in your lives. Haven't you tell me guys? Those of you who have not already tried it, just do it a few times and you will know exactly what I am talking about. Moving on, always nurture your creativity in whatever field you might be and use it constructively, channel your energies, whether it is coming from a place of frustration, anger, sadness, angst, happiness or ambition. You will be amazed to see the magic you can weave it with all. Never hesitate to dream big, no matter what your class rank may be. You know I passed with 44% marks. That's why I said never hesitate to dream big no matter what your class rank may be and if you already have big dreams that you want to come true there is a magic mantra you have to constantly check with yourself that whatever you are doing at any given moment in your life is in some way directly or indirectly taking you closer to that dream. This will always, this will always keep you in track. I can assure you one thing there are no shortcuts to success and no alternative to hard work. You cannot simply be interested in your life goals. You have to pursue them 
with complete commitment. You see, life is a cycle. There are good times, there will be bad times. You cannot avoid that cycle. But if you keep working away with it in a positive attitude, you will win sooner or later. It is quite like learning to ride a bicycle. No matter how, how many times you fall, if you keep getting back and trying one more time, you are going to learn it. And once you do, you will never ever forget it. I can also tell you something else from personal experience. If you help unconditionally, without expecting anything from anyone in return, God will reward you back with interest in some way or other, whether you realize it or not. <laughs> Equally important, use your talent and skills by all means to create as much wealth as you can as you can so that you are comfortable but you are in a position to take care of your family but at the same time make sure that your values principle principles integrity and ideology are not compromised along the way these are things that should be non negotiable never up for sale no matter what the temptation or compulsion last but certainly not least I firmly believe it is important to say, important to stay connected to your roots, to remember where you come from. This not only keeps you grounded by keeping success from going to your head, but also brings about memorable special occasions like this one. I feel blessed and privileged to be a part of it today. This is a holy place for me and I am sure it will be the same for you as well. May God bless you all and may God bless Stuart School. Jai Hind. Here's an announcement on behalf of Mr. Sanjay Hans. It's a very thoughtful announcement. Just now, he shared with us that students, those who have lost their parents during the COVID time, during the pandemic so their tuition fees and studies scholarship all this responsibility is going to be taken over by Mr. Sanjay Hans what a great concern for our students that apart he has already donated contributed the substantial amount that is 6 lakh rupees for our students audiovisual room and which is going to be very soon renovated and which would be installed immediately. So thank you so very much for taking up this responsibility. We are gr ever grateful to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. As we start our prize giving ceremony, I request our chief guest of today's program, Mr. Sanjay Hansar, to please give away the prizes to our students and bless them. To start with, I am really very proud to announce the Orissa Topper ICC 2023 with 99.4% Priyanka Parasar. Yeah. 